fix any equipment that's on the hill so that the groomers continue to run. Ski Patrol has snowmobiles out there. Snowmakers are also going at the same time. Uh, there's F&B, so there's quite a bit of activity going on at night. Here I come to save the day. So from time to time as they go out to repair or fix something, the elements out there are not the best. Currently, temperatures have been 15 below. Uh, we do have full-on whiteouts, blizzards, uh, which is which is a little extreme. Our goal is to have all the machines up and running. Uh, obviously, not leaving any of them on the hill for the guests to see. Uh, at that point, we have to rope them off. It's not an image we want to portray. Uh, it does happen from time to time, but our, our goal is to have them all off the hill and. Uh, you know, through the rest of the departments, through snowmaking and grooming, they do assist us when there's cleanup of fluids that we take off and uh, bring back to the shop. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the goal, not to have anything left on the hill. This is my first season at Park City. Uh, moved out here in July from upstate New York. Uh, really, really excited to be here. It's been a dream come true ever since I got here. Always wanted to work on cats. And there's really, I mean, everything about them is beyond impressive. I mean, you get in them and you feel like you could drive over a house if you had to. Um, and they're just, they're incredible pieces of machinery. I mean, there's so much going on with them and so many little intricate things, but at the same time, it's, they're just workhorses and they're always breaking, but we're always fixing them and they do all sorts of cool stuff. I mean, they're the backbone of the resort. Without these things, stuff wouldn't happen. And we wouldn't be able to build the features that we have in our parks and push the snow on the groomers and you know, do everything we need them. So they're just, everything about them is impressive. I mean, I always thought they were cool when I was little and just kind of seeing them go down the trail in awe, just as a little kid now I get to drive them and play with them and fix them and they're pretty, pretty cool machines. We've been uh, lucky to have the first CNG cat in North America this year. It's a uh, Piston Bully 600 and it's here at Park City Mountain Resort. And uh, so far it's run flawlessly and it's using about two gallons per hour less diesel fuel per hour than uh, it was just on straight diesel. So the CNG is uh, contributing a lot to the carbon footprint, to lessen our carbon footprint, um, and uh, it's been a great achievement. So along with the CNG cat uh, that is saving us on our carbon footprint, uh, it is obviously saving us money as well. Uh, CNG is $1.49 a gallon compared to diesel, that's three something. Uh, so there's a huge cost saving there. Um, as well with the uh, CNG and diesel, we are running B20 biofuel. We run that year round, all the lifts and snow cats and equipment. Uh, so that's definitely helping out the, uh, the earth and, and the carbon footprint as well. Also in the other green areas, we recycle all of our cardboard. Uh, we have commingled dumpsters that we throw a mixture of, of paper and cardboard and plastic into. Also, we buy 100% uh, wind power off of the grid to run the whole resort. Ah, uh -huh. that's not funny at all. 
you know, we're going to fix snow cats every day, but you come in in the morning, you don't know what, what broke or what's, what's to work on. So it's kind of a, a surprise every day. So you wake up in the morning, kind of not knowing what you're, what you're going to do. So it keeps things fresh and it's just always interesting, always different. It's a lot of fun. I think the funnest part of my job is variety between where I work. Uh, I've got an office with a beautiful mountain view and it's the people. Uh, they just, uh, it's camaraderie and there's never a dull moment and you don't do the same thing twice around here.